Happy Mother's Day, everybody. This is Real American. Hope you're all doing good today. We got a short video for you starring a Miss Kayla Reed from Nebraska. Miss Reed, a self proclaimed sovereign citizen, goes out driving with the usual non valid plates and gets pulled over and turns into an instant drama queen. So let's sit back and have ourselves some fun. So obviously, this was shot on a cell phone, so we're not going to get the best of quality. But let's go ahead and see how it goes. Here we are being pulled over. So you have to say that it's not our first time being arrested for being stupid. <clears throat> the reason I pulled you over is the plates come back not on file. Do you have your license on you, ma'am? Why would I need my license? I'm exercising my constitutional rights, my rights that are protected by the Constitution, yeah, to travel freely. You have to have a driver's license. In my private property. This is my private property sign. I don't know why she put that. That doesn't accomplish anything. Every state in U.S. territory to operate a motorized vehicle, which she is doing, requires driver's license, proof of insurance, and the vehicle must be registered. All states regulate their own laws. The federal government has little influence or say in it when they do it's a big one but basically she's just being a, i guess she doesn't want to be cheap they don't want to pay the taxes for anything so she's playing a sovereign game most sovereign citizens are just tax dodgers i'm not driving a vehicle ma'am i'm traveling in my private property do you have a driver's license why would i need a driver's license to travel to exercise my constitutional rights. So the U.S. Constitution does give you the right to travel. We everybody knows that this is nothing new. It's how you travel that gets regulated. And this is the problem most sovereigns don't want to acknowledge. You need a driver's license to operate a motorized vehicle, even a motorcycle, maybe even scooters. And sovereigns argue the traveling versus driving thing, and in the end, the courts don't care. Motorized vehicle, you must have a driver's license. No ifs, ands. Under the Fifth Amendment, I have the right to not um, incriminate myself. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. So, like, he's like, okay, I'm not dealing with this. And she goes back. The partner's about to come here in a minute, and he's going to shut her down real fast. Ma'am, I need you to open the door, please. Why would you need me to open my door? Well, if you refuse to cooperate, you're going to come back with us. So you're going to arrest me? So if you refuse to cooperate, I will. Okay. Okay? Okay. So go ahead and open the door. I'm not going to open my door. Do you need my name? If I don't give you my name, you're going to arrest me, right? If I don't give you my name, you're going to arrest me? Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I got that recorded. Because you guys are violating my constitutional rights. We're not. But you are because I have the right to be safe and secure in my person's papers, property, and effects. How stupid are you? <laughs> So now she's trying to backstep because she knows she's in serious trouble now she's about to get arrested. And she burned that bridge with the first police officer. So they're not going to put it with her crap. They're going to arrest her regardless. And she just no one to blame but herself. I need you to open the door. I'm asking you to come back to the vehicle. Supreme Court decided that we have the right to do so for our safety. So open the door. We'll open it. Um, I'll give you my name. I'm not going to open my door, though. Point, I'm asking that you open the door. Why would you need me to open my door for traveling? Why would I come back to? Am I under arrest? You're being detained. 
That's what a traffic stop is. A traffic stop to mean I'm being you. detained. Okay, are you going to cooperate? Do I have to get you? I'll give you my name, yes. So, she, yeah, she's trying to backstop. She's trying to work, argue her way out of this. She has lost this argument and she has lost this battle and it's just sheer stupidity that she keeps arguing with him and this cop is not putting up with her crap. I'm asking you out of the vehicle. Okay. Thank you. Turn and face the vehicle, please. Turn and face the vehicle, please. This is harassment. When you ask for trouble, you should not be surprised when it finds you. No, Why this is you being, being stupid. Under Why am Alrighty guys, so a quick update on the channel. A few weeks back I put up a video called Downtown Clowns which included Earl Woden, Patrick Roth, and Floyd Wallace. In the video basically they have Floyd out there as bait for the police and the video itself probably wasn't the issue. If you've seen the video already, there was a huge commentary at the end how I commented about how they treated Floyd and the consequences. And that video was flagged by a L. Roth. I'm not put the first name out there, but if anybody who knows anything about Patrick, L. Roth, I believe, is his wife, girlfriend, whatever. And she flagged it under her name. So, Miss Roth, thank you so much. You turned a potentially backyard barbecue into a forest fire. That video had limited ad revenue at the most, like 1,500 views. It had it was done and gone. You're not hurting me anymore. That one strike, three months, August, it's gone. You have basically done more harm than good to yourself and to Patrick. If it does come back, it's going to get slammed by views. They're going to say, well, what's this commentary he's talking about? So if anything, you've just actually helped me. So thank you for that. So we'll see where it goes. I put in my counterclaim. I'm not very good at these counterclaim things. We'll see what happens. But stays or goes it's not going to hurt me at all the channel is still going to be here and by some chance i lose this channel it's all gone i can do it again real american 77 can come back <laughs> so we're not losing real american 2021 can come back and also and i have no problems giving my videos to velvite freedom van balen degeneration mass or reports everybody who wants them to put on their channel I have no problems giving them those videos if I can't post the videos anymore. So, Miss L. Roth, you've accomplished nothing. You've just made my channel stronger. And I just want to thank you for that. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. You all have a good one, and I will see you when I see you.